What's up, friends and family? Mr. Flip Flop. If you hit a fan, pardon me. It's really hot this week. Um, we going through a crazy heat wave. But hey, this video right here, I had to stop two other videos because I kept getting phone calls and I need you guys to know. This video right here is about the Haitian and Dominican relationships. Now, for, for I'd say for a couple of years, I was always getting phone calls like, man, they're killing the Haitians down there. They're they, they deporting me. They're doing this. They're doing that. So we're about to put all this to arrest. Now, I saw some video uh, with his brother, and I, I watch him sometimes. I think he's part of the, the Young Turks group, I believe. I actually watch the Young Turks every now and then uh, to keep abreast of what's going on. And, and you know, just pull, I'm not into politics, but I like to see what's going on every now and then. So I watch them every now and then. So this brother said um, all this stuff about Dominican Republic and how bad they are to Haitians. So I'm going to give you the facts, the reality of the situation. Now, first, we should all know our immigration laws of every country. Every single country has immigration laws. I believe Israel, you can't go there if you're Muslim. Certain Muslim countries, you can't go if you've been to Israel. Every country has immigration laws. You should look those up before you say anything about any immigration or deportations because every country has their own immigration laws. Now, I wrote some notes, I did some research, you know, as far as going back and what we're, what we're doing. So I wanna give you guys facts because the Flip Flop YouTube channel we speak facts at all times. So let's get into some facts. Let's do the thing as we go into the next scene. So, Haiti is the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere. You know, they don't get treated too fair. I mean, a lot of history with Haiti, good and bad. Um, they are actually the reason most slaves were free in the Caribbean. They don't get the credit for it. Um, a lot of stuff happened in the past between Haiti and Dominican Republic. Haiti used to run Dominican Republic, the entire island. You guys can Google that stuff and, and go look into the history. I'm just going to give you factual information. Now, why Haiti gets to such a bad rap, I don't know. Because, and I won't get into conspiracy theories, after the earthquake, Haiti does have the second largest U.S. embassy in the world. I'm just going to sit my teeth. I don't know. But... Let's get into the top, and I got my flip notes. They got cliff notes, I got flip notes. The top deported countries in the world, meaning the countries that get deported the most in the world. Let's do it real quick. Number one, Mexico. Mexico is number one in the world in deportations. Number two, Guatemala. Number three, Honduras. I'm noticing a trend here. Number four, El Salvador. Number five, Haiti. Number six, Dominican Republic. And number seven, Brazil. Somebody get the Latino delegation on the phone because they're not complaining about racism. They get deported more than anybody. I'm not sure what's going on here. Why hasn't no one said racism against Latinos? And they are six on the list. Top six, Haiti is in between, Haiti is number five. I mean, come on guys, do your research before we go into all these rumors and speculation and what my brother said and what my cousin's uncle who works at the airport said. Be realistic. Haiti gets a bad rap, I will admit that. But all the stuff about Haitians walking down the street getting beat up and, and, and every time a Dominic says they're killing them, that's not what's going on. There's some video circulating from about six years ago I've seen the video, and the video is of Dominicans beating up a Haitian. Now, let me break this down to you guys, because I told you in the previous video about crime. That particular video, a Haitian had robbed a Dominican in their neighborhood, in their barrio. The Dominicans took out mob justice on the Haitian. Here is the thing you guys are missing. The same way they did it to the Haitian, they do it to each other. I told you before, if you steal, the mindset is, I'm poor, why would you steal from me and I don't have anything? So when you steal, they do mob justice and they beat you down. That video has been circulating for like five years. It's an old video. And I've seen the same exact videos with Dominicans. When they steal, they beat the hell out of you. So we just listed the top countries that have been deported. Haiti's up there, but it seems like Latinos get the bad rap. This is all Latin countries I just named. I don't see anyone making a Latin video saying, oh, please stop oppressing the Latinos, deporting Latinos. I don't know. Now, I'm going to give you super duper facts about Haitians being deported. 
And since my man was saying, don't come to DR no more, I kind of got to throw some things back at him because, oh, they say, well, well, Flip, you want us to come to the Dominican Republic. Well, yeah, but also I want you to be factual. I want you to have the facts. I don't just want you to say, man, I'm not going to DR because they're killing Haitians. Before it was, man, I'm not going to DR because they're kidnapping tourists. I mean, come on. Let's just be realistic. I live here. I'm giving you facts because I see this stuff every single day. I'm out here in these streets. I'm not just doing these videos and I'm not coming outside. I'm outside. I'm outside. I'm in all these neighborhoods. I'm in the campo. I'm in the country. I'm in the barrios. I'm in these neighborhoods. I see Dominican and Haitian relationships every single day. And it's not what you people may think. So now let's cue the other doo -doo 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 as we get more facts. So they're like, man, Flip, you just talking. You over here doing the same thing everybody doing, talking about it, but you ain't got no proof. Well, here's what I'm going to do. Stay tuned to the video. I'm interviewing a couple of Haitians, a couple of Dominicans. Might as well interview people that live here so they can tell you exactly how it really is, you know? So, homie said, don't go to DR. They're persecuting Haitians. They're killing Haitians. I would not use DR as a vacation spot. Well, let's give some facts real quick. So, 92. Let me stop walking so I can get in the shade right here. 1992. Uh, there was a lot of problems in Haiti. A lot of refugees left Haiti to escape the um, persecution. Uh, U.S. government kept Haitians on Coast Guard cutters in international waters for months. Almost, almost two years. Because... If they're in international waters, they're not our responsibility. That's the American government that did that. Um, so let's go into tourist locations. In 2012, Turks and Caicos said, we vow to hunt down. Let me say it again. We vow to hunt down every Haitian and deport them. Make sure you have fun in Turks and Caicos. Brazil in 2012, no, I'm sorry, 2013, tried to cut their borders off with Peru to block any more dirty Haitians from coming into Brazil. Have fun in Brazil. In 2014 to present day, as recent as March, the Bahamas created a law in two days that would do mass deportations of Haitians. They have started and stopped mass deportations of Haitians since 2014. The only reason they stop is when the U.S. government intervenes and says, what's going on? Because they're violently deporting Haitians. The Bahamas. So, make sure you have fun in the Bahamas. I mean, I'm just giving you facts. We're talking about tourist destinations that are treating Haitians like crap. Meanwhile, the Dominican Republic is getting a crazy rap when none of that stuff is going down. When they offered the free uh, naturalization, I didn't even realize it was the number was this high. Something like 360,000 Haitians got their paperwork. If you know any office in this country, that's amazing. Now, a lot of Haitians did leave the country. They left on their own will because they were afraid to get deported. I saw that myself. I had some friends leave because they were like, they don't want no drama. They got to get their paperwork straight. Some went back home to get their paperwork and come back here. If you have your paperwork, there's no issue. Immigration laws, same shit. Everywhere you go. Sorry to curse. I got to put a dollar in the curse job. But saying that Dominican Republic is persecuting and destroying Haitians and beating them up. Well, I'll let my next couple friends tell you. And uh, one of my Dominican friends, it's just her voice note because she uh, couldn't be on camera. Um... She breaks it down. She goes, we're not afraid of the Haitians. We don't have a problem with Haitians. It's the Haitians that don't like each other we have a problem with. And my Haitian friends will tell you the exact same thing. You know, as, as usual, black people, and I'm sorry to say this, but it is the truth, we dislike each other. So we do bad to each other. And now we're sitting here blaming the Dominican Republic for doing bad to Haitians. In instances, yes, they are, but that's everywhere in the world. But to say that the Dominican Republic is just destroying Haitians, that's a bold-faced lie. Now, we'll get to these interviews with my people, and you can let them tell it. I ain't got to sit there and tell it to you. I actually interviewed Haitians and Dominicans. I didn't just talk about it. I didn't tell you what my friends and them said. I'm, I broke down history and facts, and now I'm going to let them tell you. All right, friends and family. So now I got my boy Vern. <clears throat> He's Haitian from Haiti, lives in Dominican Republic, and we're going to interview him 
I'm going to ask him a couple questions about how he feels about the quote unquote racism in Dominican Republic. So, Vern, we were talking a minute ago, yeah. and I told you I'm going to ask you some questions. So, like I said, answer honestly how you feel. You living here, you know, actually, so by, the way, by the way, Vern is a friend of mine. Anybody who needs a driver, needs a guide, Vern speaks English, I, re- I highly recommend him. Um, so, first question, real quick. Do you feel safe in Dominican Republic? We are safe. I feel more safer over here than over Haiti, man. Okay. So yeah, you're honest with you. So, I have a question because this is going around the internet and I just told we laughed about it. Oh, okay. Do you feel like when you walk down the street, Dominicans may just jump you randomly because you're Asian? No, never. Because I got 12 years. I came here since 26. You know what I mean? Okay. So, never happens to me. Have, and you, have you seen just... Dominicans randomly attacking Haitians because they're Haitian? Nah, 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 never. I've never seen that in my life for the whole time living in DR. Because I told you that's the rumor back in, the, in America. Nah, nah, no, no, no. Dominicans man, are attacking Haitians. No, nah, that's that's like uh, some politics just to keep people away from coming up to DR. Okay. So they can go somewhere else. And what I want you guys to understand is every country... We're sharing the same border, the same island mm-hmm. is always gonna have some problem. You know what I mean? So they trying to bring that to Dominican peoples because of the back from like taking it back from the history. Uh-huh. We used to colonize Dominican Republic for 25 years. Exactly. So they trying to divide us. That's the reason why they spread a lot of money over Haiti mm-hmm. to keep the country unsafe. And they're spending money in Dominican Republic so they can bring tourists. Gotcha. That's the deal between Dominican Republic and USA and Haiti. So I have two more questions to ask you, Vern. All right. Do you fear deportation and corruption? I know you said you have your papers, right? Yeah, you know, I got so my passport. You got your passport already. So do you, do you ever fear de- being deported for anything or any type of corruption or discrimination against you? No. I got to be honest with you, and the same way, I mean, what people doesn't understand from overseas is that I see Dominican going in, I see Haitian going in, mm-hmm. and the thing is, they're trying to bring um, a, a safety line of security for the tourists who are coming down to the yard, because okay. Sosoa is a tourist area. So you cannot come in from Santo Domingo, from La Vega, from wherever, mm-hmm. and come and do whatever you want to do in there, in Sosoa. Because this is a, a, a tourist area. Gotcha. So what they try to do is like, who you are, what you do as a job, as a living, who you working with, and where you staying at. That's your profession and where you live, okay. You know, man, so that's the reason you see they kind of stop you on the, on your way. Mm-hmm. Can I see your ID? Um, where you staying at? You know what I mean? Your track records and, and things. But I will say this, Vern, to cut you off so the audience can hear us clearly. Mm-hmm. He said they stop Haitians on the street, right? Mm-hmm. My cooks, mm-hmm. who work at night, mm-hmm. who are both Dominican, have got arrested three times in the past two weeks. I'm, I'm just Just saying. from walking home. I'm just saying. They stop people on the street at all times. It could be Dominican or Haitian. So he's right about that. They do They do sometimes maybe maybe harass the Haitians a little bit more. But as I said, my cooks are Dominican, mm-hmm. and they just got, they've been locked up three times in the past two I weeks. I mean, not cutting you up. The reason why they sometimes taking a little bit more Haitian is because, don't forget that, Haiti is a country like Jamaica, mm-hmm. like Africa. We got like, I'm, I'm Haitian, and I'm so sorry. I got to be honest. Be honest. We got a lot more crimes going up over Haiti than the earth. Gotcha. And we have been politics problem. We got been like gang bangs problem. Uh-huh. So some Haitian trying to avoid, trying to run off Haiti and comes to the earth. Gotcha. And they don't even have all, uh, uh, any idea. Mm-hmm. So you can identify who they are, what they doing, what they been Who's doing yeah. and things like that. So that's the reason why the Interpol with uh, the Haitians police, they're working together. Mm-hmm. They're trying to block them peoples from running off Haiti. Gotcha. So you did your things, you got to pay right there, which I'm angry on. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's the reason why you can see now and then they're trying to catch more Haitians. It's not like you're going to spend night in jail. It's not like Dia is not safe, none of that. Mm-hmm. It's because they want to put some safety for you guys 
who are always coming down to the earth for your safety. Understood. For none else. I'm Haitian. I got 12 years living out there. This is my third passport. Wow. Okay. I'm never facing no immigration problems, no, no police problem. I'm a, a tool guy. I drive for two weeks and I do my things clear. Mm -hmm. But now I can understand if you Haitian, you don't do your things clear, you got to pay for it because I'm not going to pay for it. You got to be paying for what you did. You got to be responsible for what you did. And that's a point blank period. Hey, Vern, I appreciate you taking the time with me, brother. And I appreciate your responses. As you guys see, this is one of my Haitian homeboys. I really had to put the rumors to rest because I was tired of hearing about him. And he's telling you it's not as bad as people making it seem. It, I mean, there's there's crime everywhere, but there are not just Haitians walking down the street getting beat up by Dominicans. That's and just you know, not let them know something too, man. America is more dangerous than the earth. Exactly. <laughs> man, get your money. Do the same thing that Nepsa Hustle been doing. Get the money and come and invest it. That's right. Go invest your money like somewhere else because America is about fucked up now. They're right. putting anything bad in your eyes so you cannot go out of United States because things getting fucked up now. You already know. Hey, Vern, thank you very much, brother. Yeah, I'm blessed. I don't know why people keep going and say we are racist, we Haitian. We know like that. It's the trouble Haitian is bad inside. I don't say all the Haitian. It's bad inside. Dominican don't like people, don't believe in God. And it's what happened. Haitian people don't believe in God. And it's, it, that, that's it's something crazy for us, you know. And they is real bad, you know. They, you can help. Haitian all your life and the moment you do something not good they can kill your easy and it's nothing happen we know like that you understand when you do something for us we're going to remember that shit forever and it's the, it's, it's the reason we don't like Haitian but we're not racist because we black you understand and we that light skin we have we have like that also and I don't understand why they keep going to say like we we black, we can be racist, it's impossible. And it's just me out because a lot of people say, oh, Dominican is racist, this is a bullshit. It's what Haitians said to the world for, make Dominican look bad. But you know, when you go inside, no matter what, you gonna, what people are going to say, the people are going to see how is Dominican. And, and people always say, oh, Dominican is good people, got good heart, black. Why? Bill is a Haitian. Love is a Haitian. It's a couple of doing you know that it's a Haitian. And when they take vacation, where they can? They can say to Dominican, why don't go to the fucking Haiti? Daniel don't go to the fucking Haiti. Daniel is a Haiti now because he has trouble here. But they is a Haitian and they don't like the country. Tell me why, answer why, they don't like the country. Billy said all the time, and he said, like, I hate Haitian people. And they is Haitian too, so they is racist, and they is Haitian. They know why they like Haitian people, because they is very inside. The Haitian people, when they be in another, when they go out in another country, they is here different. But the people for Haiti, Haiti, you know, they go out there, they is no good. You cannot trust these people. They don't believe in God. In that reason, they can keep people like the animals not being epic. What's up, friends and family? It's another one of my friends, my boy AT. For some of you guys, you know, I use him a lot as a driver and a tour guide. Um, I've, I've blessed him with a lot of people, and, you know, I, I recommend him, very highly recommend him. Speaks English, Spanish. Um, so, you know, I'm sitting him down here today, another person, to ask about the situation between Haiti and Dominicans. So I'm going to ask him the same questions in the same order and see what he responds to. AT, first off, how you doing today, AT? I'm doing good. Thanks for having me on the video. All right, brother. So first I want to ask you, do you feel safe in Dominican Republic? Yeah, I feel safe in the yard. I'm in Sousur. I've been here the last eight and a half years. Mm -hmm. And I can't, I don't know the last time I had a fight or argument, not like that. And I feel safe and I'm happy to be here. Okay. So another question. Uh, they keep saying everybody's getting deported. Do you feel pressure or a fear of getting deported? No, I don't feel getting deported, but sometimes, you know, everybody got to have some kind of ID to mm -hmm. present yourself when the police or immigration stop you. So okay. I've been there, like I said, I've been there over eight years. I got my ID, 
So I never have a problem. I go to Haiti every other week. Yes, you do. You I know do. what I yep. mean? I always go back and forth to Haiti, no problems. And I come over here, I make my money, and nobody bother me over here. So, so, man. All right. So here's the question I got to ask you. And I, I asked you this before, but I got to put it on camera because in the States, for some reason, people believe that Dominicans are just killing Haitians. Do you feel, do, or do you fear for your life when you walk down the street? Are there Dominicans waiting to kill you and jump you and deport you? Nah, I feel like this. Don't get me wrong, I don't been in Haiti. I don't leave 22 years in Miami. I don't live in Sousa for eight years. Sousa is the safest place I've I ever been. What about as far as the Dominican Republic as a whole? Uh, I, I mean, Sousa is the best that I've been. I've been staying in Santiago, nothing mm -hmm. never happened to me. Okay. I've been in Puerto Plata, like you know. I've been in Puerto Plata, nothing happened, never happened to me, you know. Low here and there, no argument. That's about it, man. I feel like DR is, I feel like DR is safer than Haiti. Because when I be in Haiti, I mean, you could go to the beach, you go to the river, it's always fighting, there's always something going on in Haiti. I believe that Dominican people get along better than the Haitian people. And I'm not scared of no Dominican because they don't, they don't be no threat to me. They always have me out. You might find one or two assholes every now and then. It's everywhere in the world. It's yeah. everywhere in the world. Uh -huh. But these people are good people. To me, Dominican people has been good to me. I'm not going to sit there in line and say Dominican this. No, nah, Dominican people give me a second chance, man. I come over here and make money and send it back to Haiti. What the hell are they talking about? All right. AAT, I appreciate you, brother. Once again, this is another Haitian homeboy of mine, and he's giving you guys the facts on Dominican Republic, and... You got anything you want to add to it? Yeah, let me let me say this. You Haitian, the one mess up Haiti like that. Y'all don't want to stick together, and y'all blaming the Dominicans. Dominicans, we used to feed the Dominicans. We used to handle the Dominicans. Now they're feeding us. Everybody trying to come over here, they're feeding us. Y'all Haitians don't get mad. Tighten up, stick together. You know what I'm saying? Unity is the power, like you say on the flag. We're going to stay together and we could build our country just like the Dominicans. Don't hate on the Dominicans. Dominicans do what they got to do. They got to love for one another. Thank you for your time, man. Hey, appreciate you, AT. So, unfortunately, I got to cut the video short. It went on too long, too many interviews. But you guys get the gist of it. I mean, I'm giving you facts, I'm giving you stats. Um, you've heard from two Haitians and one Dominican. So, I'm going to cut the video short because it went on way too long. So I hope you guys understand, but everything you guys are hearing back home and the all the rumors the about Haitians getting killed on the street and, and attacked by Dominicans, that has not happened down here, bro. It is the total opposite. They hand in hand. I mean, you got your, your few racist Dominicans, I would say. You got your few racist Haitians that don't even like themselves. Um, that's everywhere in the world. You know, why are we stereotyping Dominican Republic with their migration laws? With every country has their own migration laws. So, you know. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe, share, like. I appreciate you guys. More videos coming. Um, like I said, uh, this is my not just my opinion, but factual information based on the Haitian and the American relationships. I'm out.